it came the way it happened was they were just going to stand in the, in the in the crowd I said look y'all come come in there and, you know y'all teach too and they got in the camera of you and all that and they were bringing out scriptures and they were saying things man that that was a flowing of the spirit man then it started raining and we didn't we didn't know whether we were going to close up or not then it, then then it cleared up and then we're still out there that's 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 the spirit man so th- so them brothers man what, they they teach the same thing that we teach, man. And I'm pretty sure if they had a problem with what, what we taught, they'll come up and say, "Well, look, brother, I was going through the scripture. You know, I look at it different. Let's could we like have a little meeting on it?" And that happens, man. Oh, Isaiah. Before we get into the thing, Isaiah, that guy is bugged out of his head, which I said he was going to bug be, get bugged out, man. You know, he's he he then went from the frying pan to the fire, man. And then, and then this this guy, um, uh, Bagwash, he don't give it. All he all he's concerned about is somebody leaving GMS. If they go into uh, the Wicca religion, he'll be happy with that because he don't care about them people, man. Yep. He don't care about them people. He don't care about Izar. He don't care about Mike. He don't care about them guys, man. Because the stuff that this guy is teaching is stuff that Bagwash not even with. Oh, his, his thing, I saw his thing now is the Apocrypha is not a part of the scriptures. Uh, he got another thing. Oh, it was, it was a well-known fact that we taught that Cornelius is an Israelite. Now I saw is saying Cornelius is not an Israelite. He's a Gentile. He doesn't say he's an Edomite. He says he's a Gentile. Then, he's, then basically he says that, that um, uh, was, uh, Rahab the harlot, she can be saved because they have mercy on the back, back there. Because she allowed the spies in her house. So so she can be saved. And then, oh, he got another one where he's basically he's saying that Obadiah is a Gentile. <laughs> Come on, man. You wa- waxing worse and worse, man. You about ready to, uh, you, hey, either the, the cops are going to blow your ass away, you're going to do something stupid. You're going to do one of your jujitsu moves, and the cops are going to open up on your ass. Or you might just get a get a, 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 a get a nine or something and, and and go on YouTube and blow your brains out, you know. Or you might wind up locked up for a number of years. You might do something stupid, or you might wind up in the, in the same asylum, asylum, or the missiles might get you. But it's, it's hey, you done, man. The only thing you can do, all right, because the door is always open. You can repent. <laughs> you, you can repent. Go on a fast, and who knows. If the Most High, you know, bless you, and you want to elect, who knows? You can, you might be able to come back in the camp, but that's a hard thing to see, man, to swallow. All right, because you messed up in the head, my man. You are messed up in the head, but it's all on you. You brought it upon yourself, Mike. You brought it upon yourself, Isaiah. You brought it upon yourself. Okay. And the thing about it, you got neither one of you guys. We never did anything to you guys to act the way you've been acting. But, you know, it it just goes, uh, it just boils down to who's part of the elect and who's not. You know, uh, this is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Yeah, I got a precept. Uh, this is the book of uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 3. It says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. The example of that is uh, Isaiah and uh, Mike. Uh, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. So this is why uh, Isaiah believes what he believes and uh, uh, Mike believes what he believes because they couldn't endure sound doctrine. Sound, dro- uh, sound doctrine means the truth. And just like the scripture said, they shall turn their ears away, or they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Which another word for fables is lies. You know? Yeah, well, a lot of these people are all flocking to Yeshia because our people love fables, man. You know? They love fables, man. This, uh, there's there's a, a hell in the spirit world. Uh, the, f- when the first thing that happens when you go to hell, you know, Satan bends you over and he pops you in the ass. Uh, what, what other madness? Yeah, the fallen angels. 
Oh, the fallen angels. That That's not scriptural. Oh, the angels living on the moon that look just like you and me. What else did he? What what other other madness did this clown bring out? Uh, or that the Garden of Eden is in uh, Mesopotamia. Well, the, the, Eden, that's the Middle East. That's what the scholars refer to as, as the Fertile Crescent, all right? That region of land right there, that's in the vicinity of the Garden, all right? Now, the way it was taught back then was right there in um, where Palestine is today, okay? It ain't that far, that whole region right there. So, I mean, it, you know, part of, part, of that, part of that whole, the beginning, Ur is a major part of that, all right? Because that's where Abraham came out of. And Abraham was taken from among his, uh, his family. He was separated to, go, to, to eventually go to the land of Canaan, all right? Because, you know what, if Ur was a Garden of Eden, it said that, that the Lord pushed them out of the Garden of Eden. I wasn't talking about no Ur, man. If they were pushed out of the Garden of Eden, who's that, Rakar? Okay, all right. All right, we, we got some other, we, we, got, we got some other, hey, shut up, Mark. We got some other guests. Okay, my, my, my sparring partner just came. <laughs> Yeah, kind, you know, so, I mean, you know, the earth, the Chaldees, you know, that that's where civilization um, was, or where the earth was repopulated, going all the way up to the region of uh, around Armenia, you know, coming down in, in, in Turkey, coming down, you know, in that region, that's where the earth was repopulated again, you know, and, and that land is fertile, you know, but, but the, the, the reason why the Lord told Abraham to leave from uh, Ur the Chaldees because they were they were worshiping demons over there. So he wanted to separate them to give them a land. You know, and, and why why would the Lord uh, uh, choose Jerusalem? Why would the Lord choose uh, uh, the Jordan River? You know, uh, um, Ur remember, Adam, Adam and Eve was pushed out of the garden. So so the 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 geneal genealogy goes down to Terah, which was the father of Abraham, Nahor, and um. Uh, it was a t uh, t uh, Terah the father, uh, uh, Nahor, Haran, and Ab Abram. All right. Now, if that's the Garden of Eden, did not the Lord push the, push Edom, uh, uh, Adam and Eve out the Garden of Eden? Yep. Yep. Huh? Right. And set an angel there with a sword that went sh that went in all directions, so they couldn't re-enter the Garden of Eden. So, what the hell are you talking about, old great uh, UFO hat guy? <laughs> I got a, a precept. Um, this is a. This oh, by the way, oh by the way, since y'all just got in, um, today's topic is entitled uh, "IUIC um, Member Commits Suicide by Cop" and other things. So we're getting into the other things now. Okay. Yeah, I I, I got this precept here uh, concerning the land. This is a. Now, this is what David said, King David. This is Psalm 137, beginning at the fourth verse. It says, How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. So the Jerusalem meaning the land. The land of Jerusalem. Yeah, and, and, which, and I'm sorry. No, that's all right, which is also known as the land of Canaan, which is the, the land that uh, our forefather Abraham was brought to when he came out of uh, Ur of the Chaldees. That's right. All right, so that's the chosen land. And just like David said, if I do not remember thee, which I guess the UFO, the UFO hat guy, I guess he forgot about <laughs> Jerusalem. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. So, Yeshua, your tongue should just cleave to the roof of your mouth, thereby you wouldn't be able to speak. Yeah. All right? If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Then as you read on, it says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. What land did the, uh, the Edomites destroy? The land of uh, Jerusalem. The chosen land. That's right. All right? So, again, what are you talking about? 
Yeah, and, and I don't see these people fighting over, over the land of Ur, the Chaldees, or Iraq. No, Everybody's fighting. fighting over Jerusalem. Yeah, you got the so-called Arabs and the so-called Jews fighting over the land of yeah, fighting over the land of Israel. And above, and just like uh, Apostle uh, Ramlab said, if we go back to the...